What's up friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your file explorer transparent within Windows 11, right? So what you want to do guys, just simply open up your browser here, right? And you want to go ahead and type in this URL on GitHub. You can find this within the description of this video. So go ahead and find the link there and go to this website link right now once you're here guys scroll down and you want to look under assets and you want to download the release x64 zip file so go ahead and click on that and it will download the file for you now i'm going to click the folder option here to go to the location and as you can see i have the location now what you want to do is a zip file guys so you want to go ahead and extract all right so go ahead and extract the file there and once it's open, guys, you want to open up the release folder. And here you'll find the register.cmd, guys. So what you want to do, you want to simply go ahead and right-click on this register and you want to run this as administrator, right? Go ahead and click more info here and you want to run anyways. Go ahead and choose yes to have this done, right? So once it is done, guys, you will see that it tells you that it is succeeded. And you just need to click OK and go ahead and close out. So guys, so once this is done, guys, what you want to do is just simply open up your Explorer here. And as you can see, I opened my Explorer and you can see right through my Explorer. So you can see that it is fully transparent, right? So here you can see the transparency is full, right? Now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how you can play around with the opacity here, right? So if you go ahead and open up this config that in it, you will find the settings here. And this is the config file that you can play around with guys to get the opacity that you so desire. Now all I have to do is just simply go ahead and change this. Let's say I want to put this to 50 and I just go ahead and click save. Then I'm going to just simply go ahead and close this, close the explorer. Then this will be in effect, right? So I just need to open it again. And here you can see that there is a difference with opacity within my explorer here. So again, if I go back, to this folder again, the release folder and open up the .config file. Let me go ahead and open it. And if I want to put it back to the 120, let's say, or whichever other number I so desire, go ahead and click file, go ahead and click save, close out of the explorer. You don't even have to close out of it. You can already see guys that it is in effect, right? So here you can see that it is in effect. No, guys, if for some reason you want to uninstall this, all you have to do is just simply go ahead and right click on the uninstall.cmd file, run it as administrator, click the more info here, run anyways, and this will uninstall it for you. Right? Just want to give it a moment to do the uninstalling. Here you'll have the pop up that says yes, you just need to confirm that. And here you will see that it is now succeeded. Right, so that's all there is to it, guys. So you want to go ahead and click OK there. And right away, guys, you can see that it is uninstalled and it's back to your default state. Now, guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful. And if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. And if you've seen the channel for the first time, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo, and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community. And also, so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much, and see you next time.